the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is KCAL 9 News at 9. Breaking news in Northern California tonight. Tens of thousands forced to evacuate tonight due to concerns the Oroville Dam's emergency spillway could fail. Caught up on the situation at the Oroville Dam at this hour. Evacuation orders have now been lifted for nearly 200,000 people living downstream. Inspectors say the erosion threat has been addressed. Water officials are releasing 100,000 cubic feet of water per second to lower the lake level. They say the lake will be capable of handling more rain from the coming storms. What we're trying to do is sweep the debris away from the dam and the spillway so it doesn't get caught up in the gates when they open it up. And the biggest concern is the bigger material, the um, bigger logs and stuff. The smaller stuff will go right through, it doesn't hurt anything. So what we do is we take boats with log booms, which is usually about 25 logs chained together, and you get a boat on each side of the debris field and you just drive real slow and trap it all. And then once you get it full, we tie it together and then we call it a pod. And then once we get the pod, we take it over, take it over, store it until we get our bigger boat to tow them. We try to tow between five and eight pods at one time to our disposal area. But once we get in a storage area, when the lake level drops, we come in with uh, we come in with dozers, push it up into piles, and that usually takes about this year. It looks like it's probably it's probably about a month's worth of work just doing that. We're at the bottom here of the Doroville flood control spillway and, and we're in the area where it was eroded after the, the spillway broke. What we do is we'll map the, the rock types, the shear zones, uh, essentially the good, hard, fresh amphibolite here versus the, the weaker, more fractured and sheared rock. The 